In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to keep your emails from hitting the spam box and go high level. In this first example, I'll be showing you how to fix issues you're having with any trigger links that you might have set up with your email marketing campaign. So this is assuming that you already know what a trigger link is, and this is what's getting you to hit the spam box. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are in your agency view, and then you want to go to settings. Up under settings, you want to scroll down to where you'll see your company information at the top. And then you want to make sure first that you have white labeled your domain. If you have not white labeled your domain, I'll have a separate video for that. The most important step here is to make sure you have something for this API domain. This is usually left blank. So something that you can do for it to keep it simple is you can do API, you can do link as you see that I did, and then you want to make sure that it links to this record in your DNS settings or your domain settings. So the first thing you want to do is go and log in to whatever place that you bought your website domain from. So for me, it's GoDaddy. I'm going to put that information up right now. So once you pull up your information, you want to go to anywhere where you see DNS, DNS codes, DNS management, and then you want to add a new record. So basically, it's telling us that we need to have something pointing to, we need to have a CNAME record pointing to this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So up under new record, the type is CNAME. And I know that because it told me right here, you need to have a CNAME record pointing to this. So I want to click C name. The, the name that I picked was link. And that's what you see right here. You can also do API or anything else. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and paste that in right there. And then you want to change the time to a half an hour and click save. After you do that, you'll go down here and you'll update your company. So this right here alone should uh, save your trigger link emails. So what you'll want to do next is go to your email automation that you set up and test your workflow. So I'm going to show you how you can do that really quickly. So here's a workflow that I use for the trigger link. And the goal is to get them to schedule a consultation. The issue that I was having before doing that API setting was that it was saying, app.msngdr or whatever and it was saying that link was used to steal people's information but by fixing that one thing it now links to my agency so it says link.myagency name and then it has like booking information and all the other stuff and this is what the trigger link looks like in here so i'm going to show you another way to keep your emails from not oh of course you always want to just quickly test this and you can just put in your email address right here and click test uh, send test email and it'll see if it still hits the spam. So that's one way to do it, especially if you're working with trigger links. The second way is if all of your emails are hitting spam. If all of your emails are hitting spam for your sub account, this is what you need to do. So you wanna go to the sub account page and go to settings and under settings, you wanna navigate down to where you see email services. So you wanna set up a dedicated domain. I've already set mine up, but I'm still going to walk you through the process of doing that. So you'll just click on dedicated domain, and then it's going to ask you what domain you want to use, and you'll type the one in that you'd like to use, and then you'll click on verify. So once you verify, it's going to ask you to add all of this information into your code. So again, you want to pull up this page here, right? So now we're just going to do a side by side for you. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. Oh, it doesn't look too good, does it? Let's see how we can make this a little bit better. That works. So the type is a text record. You're going to do text. Let's just go ahead and delete this. Just click on add new. So the type will be a text record. The host name will be this right here. And you'll paste it under name. The value is what you'll paste right here. And it's best to just click copy so you can get that information. 
I always set the default time or TTYL as a half an hour so that it can update as quick as possible. And then you're going to do the same thing. So this will be the um, type, the host name, and then the value, the time, half an hour. Again, the C name, the host name, the value, and a half an hour. But this right here is where it gets tricky. This is your mail exchange, which is the most important part. So I'm going to fully show you how to do that. So you're going to click on the type as MX. The name here, we are just going to put at. I know it sounds crazy, but we're just going to put at, okay? The priority we see is 10. So we're going to go ahead and add 10. The value is MXA mail gun. So mail exchange A mail gun. I'm going to click on paste. So before you save that, let's make that bigger. It's gonna, you should see an option to add another value. Okay, so we're gonna click on add another value. I already seen that the priority was 10. The only difference is it's MXA B or mail exchange B, and you're gonna save that. Once you save it, you're gonna click on verify domain. And that's you, the goal is to have everything green. If you don't have everything green, you might have something yellow. And that just means that you had an issue with pasting your value. So check to make sure you don't have any other spaces. But these two methods alone are a surefire way to make sure that your email marketing campaign and go high level is no longer hitting the spam box. If you have any questions about setting up your DNS codes or if you found this confusing, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you.